What's going on, everybody? Stumble one who knows nothing. And this video is going to be about the occult. Now, when we think of the occult, we think of the elite, we think of evil, we think of secret societies. Keyword, secret societies. So, the real meaning behind occult simply means hidden, secret, hidden secret knowledge. So, when we hear of these secret societies in power, you got to ask why they're in power, because they have knowledge that we don't. Knowledge that we possess, but we don't dig deep within ourselves. We choose to believe what they give us. The same people who have the knowledge are giving us scraps and pieces. And we're thinking that we know everything. And they're mixing stuff up. And they're using things like religion. And lots of stuff to brainwash us. You know, the fleshly things of life that we think is life. But really, the life is the spirit that lives within us. But back on topic, when we think about the occult, we think of evil. But we should think about this. Why do they use these symbols? And why do they go behind numerology? If we knew the importance of math, not to really know it, how they brainwash us in school. Because we don't really use it in the life, but the life is math. You know, so maybe some of these equations are, you know, hidden messages also. Like you think of pi, the number that lasts on and 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 on. You know, that kind of reminds me of the creator because it's eternal. It doesn't die. So that's just one of the smaller example to get you thinking. But so when we see these signs, we automatically think that those signs mean just that. But it means something deeper. And the, the meaning behind it is something deep about life. And they really understand the ways of the life. So they put it in like little symbolism in our face. And we know that that's how they operate. They operate in numerology, you know, with the false flags. You know, people are more aware of this type of stuff, really is who I'm speaking to, because most people don't even get past that level or don't even get to that level to seeing and noticing the signs and symbolism. So hopefully, you know, they see. But everything has a deeper meaning and a goes beyond what we think. And even the Bible holds the deeper meanings behind a lot of things. But like I say, like I stress, we don't understand the life. We don't understand what life really is and the deepness of it. So when we read things, we're reading things and we're getting it all twisted and it all messed up. And... um the concealed message that the Bible holds underscores the mystery teachings of the secret societies of Freemasons, Knights Templar, the Eastern Star, and others that many people in the outer world have never heard. And like all the basic secret societies and all the extra little, you know, not necessarily sororities, but really that's what sororities are based off, secret societies and groups and cults and stuff. But you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm trying to say? And it's a lot of things that we must consider, like even the triangle. When we speak of the triangle and you hear my video about how the word is the spirit and the sun is the spirit. So the word represents the life, which is the creator. He is the internal. Or ye, and then when we get to a deeper level, we understand that it's deeper than gender. It's like how we think he and she, the creator, is not a object of what we think of a person or a being, which is common sense, but that's just, I should point that out. But the creator is a, basically the formation of how life works. We have the father, and we have the mother, and we have the son. That is the true trinity. So when you have the triangle... It could be used in different things because, like, signs and symbolism have different meanings. So, the deeper meaning of it all is the true trinity, 
which is how the Father, the Mother, and the Son. We have the Father, the Spirit, which we are the life that we're living in, the physical, and everything. But in this earth, in this realm, and what I'm speaking on, we are the life. We live in the life. Our soul comes from the life. So that simply means that we connect through the Father because we are Him. You know, it's some deep stuff. So I hope you can really follow what I'm trying to say. And we have the Mother, which is the Mother Earth, who carries the life. I will explain this in in my next video. But as one example with the triangle, and then we have the 666. The mark of the beast. So when we think about things and we really understand the life, we understand that the flesh is darkness. The flesh is the beast. We are the mammals. <laughs> I'm trying to explain it to you for simpler terms. You know, explain things like a child, make things simple like a child so people can understand. So... When we hear 666 and we look of what our body is made of, which is the six protons, neutrons, electrons, something like that, and we will see we are the beast. (laughs) You know what I'm saying? We are our worst enemy when we think about, like how we think of Satan, how we make dumbass decisions and we blame it on Satan. We blame it on the devil made me do it. No, you listening to those stupid thoughts. You know, you not really evaluating and really thinking, like I say, we're flesh, we're humans. We go our emotions, and our emotions are really technically not really a punishment, but it's deeper than what we all think. It's the simple things about life we don't think about that's deep. But um, if you look up the symbolism behind the Venn diagram, we have the three circles I can't I can't really describe it I wish I could um know how to do the video edits and shit so I can have the pictures going while I talk (laughs) but I'll learn how to do all that but if you look at it it's three sixes like I say when I say math kind of is describing a lot of things about the life and about earth so back to what I was saying to the symbolism behind the meaning behind these things, it would make a lot more sense if we understood the life. I just can't stress that enough. So when we read and see things, we will understand why. But these secret societies and the occult, they have a hidden knowledge. You know, it's been actually documents leaked, like 800 disclosed documents leaked from the CIA, exposing our abilities and exposing everything that we're capable of. So... You know, life is deep, man. It's a lot deeper than what we've been brainwashing to think. Like, our minds are so limited. Even when we think, we know we don't. So, so this is just a different perspective. Sound to shed light on some other things, but I was just trying to give a few examples of some things. And... Uh, Baby steps, we got to understand the small before we understand the big. Mind like a child. A child doesn't know anything. They listen, and they're humble in their ways. So, with that being said, I'm out. Love conquers all, and we must get to a level of understanding.